Hey folks, in this video we're going to take some pizza pans and turn them into wheel covers for science. This video is part 3 in the Prius hypermiling series. In this video, we're going to try to improve fuel economy by making the wheels smoother so they create less aerodynamic drag. My Prius has 15 inch wheels, but the trim rings on the wheels are just over 16 inches diameter. So I decided to buy 16 inch pizza pans. The pizza pans will be bolted to the trim rings. I was originally going to attach the pizza pans directly to the wheels but that would require drilling holes in the wheels, and I wasn't really excited about that. But that's an option for you if you'd rather do that. Of course, the spirit of these mods is to do them on the cheap. We're looking for cheap, easy ways to improve fuel economy. So I shopped around for a cheap source of pizza pans. I found them at Walmart for under 5 bucks a piece. But as you can see in this video clip, that cheap price came at a cost. Half of them were damaged in shipping. So I got a refund and bought some more. And half of those were damaged in shipping. But eventually I had four relatively undamaged pizza pans. Okay, so let's install those pizza pans. We need to buy some hardware to attach the pans to the trim rings. Also, we need some spacers to fill the gap between the pans and the trim rings. I bought some hard plastic tubing and we'll be cutting pieces of that to use as spacers. We also need a bunch of nuts, bolts, and washers. Each wheel will have 6 nuts and bolts, for a total of 24 nuts and 24 bolts. And each wheel will have 18 washers, for a grand total of 72 washers. Anyway, on to the build. First of all, I need to figure out where to put the bolt holes. I decided to put them right next to the tabs where the trim rings attach to the wheel. I figured that area should be pretty strong. So I took one of the washers and placed it where I wanted the bolt hole, then I used a sharpie marker to put a mark. I did the same thing for all six bolt holes. Now it's time to drill the bolt holes. I did this in two steps. First I used a small drill bit to make a pilot hole. Then I used a larger drill bit to drill the bolt hole. Drilling pilot holes allows you to be more precise, and that's important because if the pizza pan is off-center, it can affect the balance of the wheel. And here we have the trim ring with all the bolt holes drilled in it. I used a 3 16th inch drill bit because that's a perfect size for the number 10 bolts. The next step is to drill the bolt holes in the pizza pans. I used the trim ring as a template. I set it down on top of the pizza pan, made sure it was perfectly centered, and traced the bolt holes onto the pan with a sharpie marker. When I drilled the holes in the pizza pans, I decided not to use a regular drill bit. In my experience, they tend to wobble around when drilling through thin materials like sheet metal. So instead, I'm going to use a step drill. These are made for drilling through sheet metal. I'm going to drill these holes a little oversized so I can adjust the pizza pans to get them centered on the wheels. So these holes were drilled a quarter inch diameter. I also placed a piece of scrap wood under the pan so it wouldn't cave in when I pressed down on the drill. The drilling operation left some sharp bits of metal on the underside of the holes, so I cleaned them up with the step drill. Okay, so the trim rings and the pizza pans are ready to go. Like I mentioned earlier, there's going to be a gap between them. So I'm going to cut pieces of this plastic tubing to use as spacers. This tubing is perfectly sized to fit over the bolts. 
This will come in handy in a moment. To make the spacers, I used my bandsaw to cut pieces of the tubing. If you don't have a bandsaw, you could use a hacksaw or even a sharp knife. The tubing cuts pretty easily. Also notice I clamped a piece of wood to the bandsaw to use as a stop. So each piece is cut exactly to the same length. And I used a piece of scrap wood to push the tubing through the saw. I didn't want to put my fingers in there because I really like my fingers and would rather keep them all. Oh, by the way, off camera, I tried different lengths of tubing to see what fits the best. I settled on a half inch length. Anyway, we need to make 24 spacers, six for each wheel. Now we're ready to install the pizza pans. I'm going to take a bolt and put a washer on it, then run it through the pan. Then I put another washer on it and the plastic spacer. The spacer fits on the bolt pretty snug, so I don't have to worry about the bolts falling back out. Now we can place the trim ring on top and push the bolts through the holes. And we top it all off with another washer and the nut. And I just realized I forgot to put the last washer on during this video clip. Hold on. Okay, so we have a pizza pan installed onto one of the trim rings. I just need to do this three more times. But I won't make you sit through that. Instead, we're going to cut straight to the money shot. Alright, the pizza pan wheel covers are installed. I'll keep track of the fuel economy just like I did for the other mods. And after a few fill-ups, I'll report back with the results. And if the pizza pan wheel covers give good results, I just might have to make something more permanent. And don't get your hopes up. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next time.